race car driver now. This is only my second full season competing in a professional series, and I'm leading in championship points in my class. When I first started, it was really, really hard for me to find female role models. Um, they're there, but you have to really dig for them, especially in sports car racing. And I've had at least 50 interviewers ask me if I want to be the next, the next Danica Patrick. I'm like, okay, well, I do, but I could also be the first Aurora Strauss, or I could just be a good race car driver. You know, I, I don't have to be a woman, and I don't have to be Danica. So there are kind of two programs that are semi-related to each other that I'm working on right now. The first one, and the one that I can tackle much more easily, is a beta program that I'm working on with local Girl Scout troops. Um, so I'm comping tickets for up to really 40 or 50 registered Girl Scouts and their family and friends in these nearby areas. Um, so they get to see everything. They get to see 10 times what the average spectator sees, and they get to see them for free. Pretty much anywhere from ages like 6 to 18. So it, it totally varies. They tend to be on the younger end, just because that seems to be the demographic that's more interested in this kind of stuff. Um, so a lot of them are like late elementary school, early middle school, which is actually exactly the age I want to target. Like most studies show that girls early to late middle school uh, start losing confidence in their ability to get involved in male-dominated career paths. So I want to grab them as soon as they're starting to think that and basically force them in front of as many role models as they can possibly get to try to steer them into business, politics, um, STEM, engineering, motorsports, anything that where women are heavily underrepresented. There's a systematic disadvantage from a female standpoint when you're trying to get involved in an industry where no one looks like you. And it sounds kind of like too simple and too stupid, um, but if you look around a room and you don't see anyone that looks like you, you just get uncomfortable. It's just automatic. And I'm hoping that maybe a few years from now I can get enough girls involved in racing or any other career path that instead of looking around and being like, oh, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be here, maybe I don't deserve to be here, they just think, like, I can do this, I can be a race car driver. I don't even need to be a female race car driver, I'm just going to be a good driver.